Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at National College of Ireland. Uh, and this video, this is one of the videos that we really wanted to get to, okay, which is another video in our series of videos under the under the topic or under the topic of number theory, okay? And what we'd like to be able to show is that there is an infinite number of prime numbers, okay? Now in a previous video we've defined what a prime number is. A prime number is a number, okay, that's divisible only by itself and one okay and it excludes one okay if that makes sense okay so it excludes the number one it also excludes the number the number the number minus one okay so a prime number is any number that's divisible by itself and one and in particular the prime numbers that we know of are two three five seven and so on and so forth okay but the question that we really have here is is there an infinite number of prime numbers? Now the proof that I'm actually going to go through here today uh, is a proof uh, that's based, it's, it's actually what's known as Euclid's proof of the infinitude of the prime numbers. And it's a very, very straightforward proof. It's actually a proof by contradiction, okay? Uh, but I suppose we're going to rely upon, we're going to rely upon uh, two, two previous, okay? Two previous properties, okay? properties okay okay of the integers okay of the integers okay and the first property is this let's say property a okay is that if a divides b and a divides c well then a divides their difference it divides b minus c okay that's an important property and then the second property that we're going to rely upon is what's known as the fundamental the fundamental the fundamental theorem theorem of arithmetic of arithmetic okay which tells us that any number can be written as a product of primes yeah okay so all numbers let me just write this down here okay all integers okay 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 can be written can be written as a product of primes okay that's important okay and we've proven this in a, one of our previous videos okay so let's start off our proof and i suppose this is a proof by contradiction okay so it's a proof it's a proof by contradiction contradiction so we're going to hopefully arrive at some sort of contradiction okay so let's assume let's assume that the primes the primes are finite okay okay they're finite okay so there's not an infinite number of them they're finite okay well then therefore therefore we can list them okay we can list them okay so let's list them okay so let's list them there's and let's list them in ascending order so p1 p2 p3 and all the way through to the nth prime number let's say pn okay and what we're going to do now is we're going to construct two numbers okay so we're going to construct we're going to construct two numbers okay okay from the finite set of primes okay we're going to construct two numbers okay and uh, let's call the first number let's call the first number p star okay so p let's say star and p star is simply equal to the product of all the primes. So it's equal to p1 times p2 times p3 all the way through times pn. So it's a product of this finite set of primes, okay? So this is one of our first numbers, okay? And, okay, let's say that we construct, let's say, p star star, okay, is another number. And what it's equal to is equal to the product of all the primes, p1, p2, p3, all the way through to pn plus one we add one onto the product of the primes okay right now clearly p star is written as a product of primes okay okay so p star is a product of primes okay and now p star star is not written as a product of primes it's written as a product of primes plus one okay Okay. But relying on the fundamental theorem of arithmetic, okay, relying on the fundamental theorem of arithmetic, p star star should be able to be written as a product of prime numbers, okay? So p star star, so relying, okay, okay, upon the fundamental theorem of arithmetic, let's call that f t 
FTA, okay, relying on FTA, okay, P star star, okay, uh, should be, we should be able to write, okay, P star star as a product of primes. Let's keep that in mind, okay? Okay, okay. so now we have two numbers, okay? okay. We have uh, P star, which is P1 times P2 times P3, all the way through to Pn. And we have P star star, which is a product of primes, okay? Okay, so it's a product of primes, okay? Now, uh, because P star star is a product of primes, okay? Okay, well then there must be some prime in our list of primes, okay? That divide P star star and divides P star, okay? Clearly, okay, that prime has to be one of the primes P1, P2, P3, up to Pn, okay? okay? So clearly, so let's choose, okay, uh, 